King 5's Eric Wilkinson joins us live above the dome in Sky King. Eric, how did they think this happened? It was the lead story across Seattle in February of 2000. A man snuck through a heavily secured King Dome to skateboard on top of its roof just days before it was to be imploded. The death-defying trick was captured on home video and seen throughout the world. Now, nearly 25 years later, that story is being retold. Longtime skateboarder and part-time content creator Alex Cooper works at 35th North Skate Shop on Seattle's Capitol Hill. What do you think of the Wear Max? Those are kind of crazy. Last year, his boss approached him about an idea for a new project. What's the coolest thing that's ever happened in the history of Seattle skateboarding? And he's like, you know, well, it's gotta be Tom Pia skating on the roof of the kingdom. That suggestion became King Tom, a documentary highlighting how Seattle skateboarder Tom Pia pulled off the ultimate trick. It was made for skateboarders, but it was also made for anyone to understand the story, sort of, you know, skaters, non-skaters. We wanted it to be about him sneaking onto the roof, but it's also kind of like, uh, like, well, who is Tom Pia? You know, kind of more about his character, I suppose, because he's such an interesting guy. So who is Tom Pia? He's a Northwest legend. Everyone was excited to talk about Tom. We'd hit up some random person like, I don't know if we're gonna hear back. And then they're just like, yeah, of course, we'll talk about Tom. That's the thing about Tom. When he gets his mind locked on something, he's gonna do it. We wanted to make sure we had a good mix of kind of older people who were around, you know, during Tom's era, skaters from the 80s and 90s and whatnot. And then we tried to bring in a few of the younger crowd, kind of like, you know, show people, you know, like these guys know about it too. You said that that was like way steeper than it looks on this. Yeah, it's way steeper. For Alex, bringing this real urban legend to life has been an epic experience. It was incredibly fun. I was honored to have my hands on it and kind of be allowed to sort of piece the whole story together. I've never made a full-length documentary like this before. I've been editing you know, for most of my life, so I kind of just, I sat down and I just felt like I already knew what to do. It may have happened decades ago, but Alex hopes people who watch his doc will learn a little more about the event and the man behind it making his way on there just purely for the love. That's something that could maybe only come out of the Northwest.